In today's Gospel, Jesus gives some instructions to the Twelve on their first mission on their own without him. And they're quite specific instructions, and we don't have to follow them literally now in our mission to the world, but there is still a central message there, an important message for us that we can take away in our lives today as followers of Christ. So the overall message is one of not carrying too much baggage in our lives, to travel lightly, not to pick up too much baggage. And then that whole image of shaking the dust off our feet, not letting things get to us too much, not taking things too personally and trying to let go of things and shaking them off. Uh, and so that we're free to live as you know, f- full, live fully in the life of Christ, live as human beings, as God wants us to. So there's that sense, yeah, don't pick up too much baggage. And it always reminds me of this gospel of all those times in the six years that I lived in Rome, traveling backwards and forwards to that wonderful city from Manchester and all the flights that I had to get. And it gave me a great practical example of how much better it is to travel lightly because, you know, I always preferred it if I could, if it was possible to travel with hand luggage only, which was possible during the year, but the two trips at the beginning and end had to have a bigger suitcase. Because when you do have a big suitcase, as you'll know, you've got to check that in. You've got to arrive earlier at the airport. You've got to check it in. So you've got to join in a separate queue. And then that takes longer. And then when you get off the plane, it's no disrespect to the nation of Italians, but uh, the, the, the airports in Rome are not renowned for... Uh, bringing your bag back very quickly so you're waiting at the carousel for sometimes more than an hour to get your bag and you see all these people going through that have had hand luggage only of course then you've got those people that try and force 20 kilogram suitcases onto the plane as hand luggage but it's, it just gave me that great example of how much easier it is you just you you ease you glide through when you've just got hand luggage and when you're lumping all that and it's the same in our spiritual life if we keep picking up all these possessions or all these worries and things that weigh us down then it's going to take longer is it going to feel like it's harder to go on our, carry on our journey through life so this great example and then there's the other example of an arrow being shot if you think of our spiritual life like uh, we're, we're an arrow shot Uh, towards God. That's our goal. That's our destiny. But we're only going to remain aerodynamic if we don't pick up lots of debris and baggage to hold us down. So they're just two little examples. But of course, Jesus is the, the, the teacher par excellence. We don't need these extra examples sometimes. And in the end, there's only one thing that we need when we are going on the mission when we're evangelizing the world and bringing them the good news of jesus and when we're developing our own spiritual life and we're trying to get rid of all that baggage it makes us realize that we only need certain things there are only certain important things that really matter to us and what define us as human beings as children of god And we've got the answer in today's second reading. It's just so wonderful from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. It's just a piece of poetry, but it's a wonderful prayer. It was written originally as a hymn. And this this is the message. This is all we need for ourselves and to take to other people. Before the world was made, he chose us, chose us in Christ. So that's the first thing. Before any of this was even created, we, I, me, you, the individual person, each person was already in the mind of God. He'd already chosen us to exist. That gives us our self-worth. What, how amazing is that? It makes us, you know, so important in God's eyes. And it tells us that we're worth so much in this world. And he chose us to live through love in his presence, determining that we should become his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. We are the adopted sons, the children of God. Jesus Christ, in whom through his blood 
we gain our freedom, the forgiveness of our sins. That's what we need for ourselves. That's what we need to take out to the world. We don't need anything else, any of these other peripheral material things. All we need is that central message to know that we are children of God and that God loved us into existence.